A quick little look here at polysomes. If you've heard of the term ribosome, which is the little protein factory that takes the mRNA and helps it to translate into a sequence of amino acids, then you understand that a polysome is just when you have many of these ribosomes that are functioning together as kind of a one unit, that all are working on one thing, which is working on one mRNA molecule. So let's take a look at what we have here. So polysome, a group of ribosomes moving along the same mRNA molecule. And you'll see a little animation happening over here. I'll just let that play. And you'll see that simultaneous translation is actually happening so there's one ribosome there's another one there's another one and as these all move along in the five prime to three prime direction look at that little growing green little chain of amino acids they're all reading the exact same genetic code so the actual shape of all of these little proteins that's being made is going to be identical that's basically it this is a polysome it's when you have many ribosomes working on one mRNA strand, you can see how it greatly speeds up the rate of translation and you can produce a lot of proteins uh, in a very short amount of time using only one mRNA strand and that can be broken down and reused later. Uh, so one quick tip, in prokaryotes, translation can happen before the transcription actually finishes itself. I mentioned this in another video because in prokaryotic cells, there's no nuclear membrane, there's no nucleus. So the ribosomes are right next to the genetic material and so so you can pretty much have transcription and translation going on at the same time. If you look at images under microscopes, under electron microscopes, they're called electron micrographs, we can see evidence of this actually happening here. So how cool is that? You can actually see these growing polypeptide chains as a result as a result of the actual uh, translation that's going on simultaneously. So how many polysomes can you actually count in this particular diagram? So take a look at that.